I for today's tear done, or at least tear done attempt. This big grey box with a number of uh, wounded slot screws. So yes, you know already, it is Soviet made. A bit of shipping damage here, sadly the cover was a bit uh, damaged, but I managed to uh, reform it uh, more or less. And we have here the RPR3A box. It is some kind of turbine overspeed controller for uh, Camov 50 helicopters and others, and it is still actually an actual product. So I got it very cheap on German eBay for uh, 12 euros, I believe. You can see we have one uh, first connector here, one uh, here which is uh, secured with a cover and a uh, lock wire, so it is probably a test connector but not to be used in normal condition. And this one has also a cover but without lock wire. You can see uh, golden pins on this one, while this one has a uh, silver pin on the, the uh, original Soviet connector cover with rubber inside for water tightness. Your ground post here with, I will install it later, with actually uh, epoxy, the yellow Soviet epoxy on it. We have here serial number of uh, 0688 might totally be the dead code. So apart from this, a main cover with a number of screws. We have no uh, factory seal on these screws and they are not tight, these ones. We have here a die cast part with build heat sink. On the back, one cover here with safety wire, so I did not open it yet. We will see if it is necessary to crack it open or if we can guess from the other side what we have in here. And here we have a number of screws. I did uh, prop them a little bit. And it appears these screws are just totally, totally locked. It is absolutely impossible to unlock them. And given they are quite small, with a delicate slotted head, if I force, I believe I will either break the head or break the screw. So quite annoying because it might prevent me to take it apart completely. Really, I did probe several of them and they will not come. Completely, completely stuck, believe me. Quite amazing. So. I need no now to undo a number of screws all around and I will be right back. So what do you think we have in here? So first, why they did apply so many screws? Because we have no seal or the seal is missing here at least. We have one on the top but not here. Quite curious if it is an engine control unit. You can expect it to be uh, quite well protected because it is uh, designed to be mounted near the turbine. And I have other equipment like uh, actually uh, this box with, in which the, uh, the electronics are very well protected. There is a tear down of it available on my channel. But uh, here we will see. A number of screws I had to remove at least. So what do you expect to find? Big relays, big power transistors, big power resistors, hybrids, vacuum tubes, just wires. Ta -da! Okay. So first uh, inside this cover nothing in particular. We have here what seems to be a module with this uh, aluminium frame so obviously all the screws on the back uh, secure this part through the back piece and through this back PCB 
given the screws on the back are stuck, it will not be possible to uh, separate this part and see what we have on this uh, rear PCB. I can see, I can see, uh, I will try to shine a light for you. I can see a little vertical relays at least like the uh, previous box I did uh, take apart. And uh, apart from this, it is really hard to tell a very uh, uh, small gap. It seems to be mainly little metal relays. But uh, not easy to see and it will be impossible to undo this part. Here we have a nice uh, PCB with a lot of uh, gold ceramic ICs, but not only ICs, I will zoom as much as I can, because we have this assembly here, not sure what they are, uh, thick green resin, so not usual. This is probably a resistor network. Yes, most probably. And you can see a number of uh, PC of uh, circuit, this will be integrated circuits. The pins connected here uh, to the wires, screws, and we are long going to the front compartment. It seems we have another layer of circuit board here in the middle, but uh, if the screws collaborate, there is actually a number of screws on this board, and you know what, I did already probe the screws, they are also completely stuck, they will not collaborate at all. So I do not want to do any damage and uh, sleep with a screwdriver and damage uh, IC or something like this. But you can see this thing is stuck. I will try with a power screwdriver at least, see if I have any success. But I do not expect it to work actually. Ah, maybe. No, this one is stripped already. We try another one. Okay. So if I can undo the screws, I'll strip one here, but maybe I will be able to turn it anyways. No, strip one here, so you can see they are really, really stuck. No, already two stripped screws on two for I did try, so sadly this thing will keep its secrets. Uh, they are really, really super tight. We'll try one more just for the head of it. This one will collaborate. This one not. Okay. So too many uh, screws will be damaged, so I will not uh, attempt it anymore. It is sad because I would really love to see what we have. Do I try the other side? Maybe I will be more lucky. But there is already a bad one here, so... No, it's stripped also. Okay. This one was already bad. And you can see it is not going better. So it will remain like this, sadly. We will not see what we have inside here. I will try to shine a light inside for you. No, really not, not enough uh, clearance to see anything, I believe. Quite sad. Ah, do I see anything? Now there is a metal wall inside this part, so I cannot see anything from this side. And 
here we also are too small okay so uh, obviously quite annoying this screws if it was allen screws should have been much more easy to undo them but here a uh, number of stock screws so quite sad but here the cover did fall on this compartment which is uh, more or less empty as you can see by the way very thick uh, die cast cover so what do we have we just have uh, Wire loom to the connector. Uh, apparently, two power transistors here on the back. Provision for a third transistor. So it seems this cover is actually just covering the transistors. So I will not uh, bother undoing it. But why did they, did they did secure it with safety wire? I have no idea. Little board here on the side with. Uh, one big wet total lamp capacitor, one of the model of capacitor here in metal can also. All this is again secured with uh, epoxy. And at the back, uh, just another detector. Here we have two more power diodes and one nice uh, power transistor with gold not around it and it is all and we cannot see anything else sadly because of the stock screws i can see here a little um, multi-turn trimmer so must be more or less the same pass we have in the bu box i took apart previously i can see uh, Another total lamp capacitor here. Will you see it? Oops, excuse me. Wrong side of turning my lamp. Yes. Uh, here you can see another uh, capacitor like this one, a smaller model. And again, uh, backlight standoffs here. But this thing is completely stuck, so it will not be possible to see anything more. Quite sad, but it happens. Okay, at least a nice uh, PCB to see here with uh, very nice gold ceramic ices, nice wires, so. But the uh, internal layers will keep them their secrets. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.